What is going on guys? This is Mia Sin and I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. I truly believe I managed to find which might be the best anti-meta deck for the next format. That deck has the ability to play a ridiculous amount of hand shafts. Probably even like 20, which is crazy because every card in the deck literally is a one card engine. You have the monsters, which are one card starters. You have your spells, which searches you the spells that searches you your one card starters. You have a quick play spell, which can special summon the starter from the deck. So even if you get ashed, it might not be in the end of the world. And some of the life twin monsters are extenders when you have their sisters, uh, which is really, really cool. And this deck actually makes more more interruptions and draws more cards now so it's infinitely better than last time last time i showed it it was more of a control build with the paleozoic cards but now you kind of just kill your opponent on turn two and this is what i'm going to show you guys right now but before we start you already know it friendly reminder to like and subscribe it motivates me so much to keep making ones like these if we can get this video to a thousand likes the deck profile will be uploaded tomorrow and the testing video will be uploaded the day right after so please guys let's try to aim 1000 likes i know we can do it we've done it already in the past and this video is going to be so good that you're, you're gonna have to you're, you're gonna almost force yourself mentally to like the butt it, it's really that simple but not, let's jump right into it so so one card starter man life twin trouble son yeah every card is a pun but whatever so just with Leela, for example, look at what you can do. You're going to be special summoning very specifically Frost and not the other life twin starter, the one that has kind of the same effect as Leela, but like opposite. So Frost actually does something really neat where uh, when the opponent actually searches as a card from the deck to the hand, except during the uh, whatever, the, da the damage step, uh, you can, and you control an evil twin monster, you can banish it and then draw one card, uh, which is really cool. So now we're going to make the Kissy Kill, revive back a monster, whatever, and then make the Leela, and then revive back the Kissy Kill, draw one card since we controlled another uh, yeah, uh, Kissy Kill monster. And now we're making the Trouble Sunny, which is the Link 4. I'm going to read you guys the effect. Quick effect, well, it's a Link 4, so two plus monsters, including an evil twin monster. Quick effect, you can tribute this card, special summon one Kissy Kill monster and or one Leela monster from your grave. You can banish this card from the grave, then send one evil twin monster from your hand deck or face of field to the grave. Send one card on the field to the graveyard. You can only use each effect of evil twin trouble sunny once per turn kind of nasty and it has 3300 attack so it applies a lot of pressure on your opponent whereas before when you had the two link monsters on the field uh, your opponent could just like summon a random monster and then jump over but now you actually have just raw power and it's really important because you kind of had to also rely on the effect of Leela to pop monsters with like 1500 attacks so with Gemini Garnet still forced you to use the pop which was kind of sad but now you actually just sit on trouble sunny during your opponent's turn so it takes a lot to prompt the pop off of uh the well the, the monsters that are going to be revived back but yeah so whatever our opponent is going to draw for turn he's playing Tribrigade. tanky is a really good card you're going to see why but it's not going to be a bit of so tanky going to search that fractal then we draw one card so this is draw number two uh, and then uh, tank obviously fractal into kid kid into nerval whatever blah 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 normal summon the fractal you all we know it at this point we're going to tag out the sunny and we're going to revive back Ooh, by the way uh, one thing that i actually should mention this continuous spell is really good in time because every time your opponent normals or special summons a monster you gain 200 and your opponent loses 200. This also matters when you play cards like Solemn Strike because sometimes you have randomly 1400 life points, 15, and you're like, ah, oh, if only I could randomly gain life points, like go Kaina, activate one spell. But this is like one random way to do it. And inflicting damage to your opponent also could come up in weird situations, but yeah. Now we're going to tag out and revive back the uh, Kissy Kill and the Leela. Kissy Kill is going to draw one card and the Leela is going to pop one card on the field does target unlike the link four but it's fine we're going to pop the fractal before it has a chance to use the or use its effect and draw again another card we're three draws from one starter and we start with five cards so we had four other cards on, st on top of these three draws so we have seven cards in our hand while our opponent is playing so just try to imagine all these cards could have been extenders hand traps uh, just board breaking cards if we're going second uh, huge blowouts like Solemn Strike and stuff like that. It's it's just ri ridiculous. This deck is great. But yeah, draw phase, going to draw whatever, another card. And then we're going to use Trouble Sunny. 
this applies a ridiculous amount of pressure on your opponent since it doesn't target and also doesn't destroy your opponent kind of has to chain the revolt here he can't really hold it for too long and he's going to summon the Amen. but look at this look at this uh, again i already said that it doesn't uh, it doesn't target so this Amen is going to actually die before it has the opportunity to use its effect to banish something and whatever all he all he really gets at this point is the nervil but it's not even like we had to commit anything because the lila is just going to revive back the kissy kill immediately draw us one extra card okay this is just a meme it could have been like anything at this point and you can kind of see how this is a loop right we're going to make another Link 4 because we play three copies of it. And then we're going to attack for 3,000. And then we can technically tag out for these two, attack for another 22, and then make another Link 4, whatever. <laughs> Literally, the world is your oyster, but yeah, this deck really is insane. You're just getting so much card advantage off of one card. You have a full hand, and you only needed one card to do it absolutely beautiful let's get into the combo uh, into the next combo okay combo number two and our opponent is actually going to have nibiru nibiru does hurt and we don't really have any like legit great extenders but you're going to see something that i don't necessarily recommend but you can do it it just doesn't really make too much sense but i guess it, it only requires one spot in the extra deck and uh lo look at this very carefully so Leela and Kisikiel, the Life Twins, are actually Cybers monsters. However, their uh, sisters are not. So Leela Treat is a zombie, and Kisikiel Frost is an Aqua. What level are the Life Twins? They're all uh, they're all they're all level twos. And uh, can you name me one rank two Xyz monster that uh, needs two Aqua monsters to be summoned and has a ridiculously unfair effect? It is uh, th this little guy right there, Tree Toad, and yes, I call it Tree Toad. Not totally awesome. That this is not a totally awesome name, okay? Yeah, Tree Toad is better, and this can negate everything, and it's also going to be stealing the card and recycling you back one water from a grave, which will obviously never come up because, unfortunately, they are light. <laughs> so this is, I guess, one of the reasons why it's not too great. But the main reason why I'm not a big fan is because now with this kind of sequencing, you're stuck with a Leela monster and another Leela monster, so you can't actually do the full combo, which kind of sucks, but yeah. Uh, now the Nibiru is not going to do Jack, we can just negate it. And since we have our uh, Kisikil in the grave, finally, then we can act, we, we can truly combo because we can make the Leela revive back a Kissy Kill, then make the Kissy Kill revive back a Leela, and then make the Link 4, and then tribute summon back two monsters, draw one card, and make another Link 4, which is very fair and healthy. And uh, yeah, it's basically Happy Land City. Combo number three and the final one. You can OTK your opponent uh, even despite your opponent having Ash, which is just Happy Land. So if you play cards like Parallel Exceed, that's it. That's all you need to win. <laughs> Normal summon, effect, get Valored, Ash, Imperm, whatever. You're like, okay, <laughs> that's fine. El Mirage, and then summon Parallel Exceed, summon another Parallel Exceed. Parallel Exceed is a Cyber, so you can make Update Jammer, and then make Transcode Talker. Transcode can attack twice, revive back Update Jammer, and then make Access Code. Update Jammer makes it attack twice. Access Code gains 3,000, so 53 multiplied by 2 equals a lot. It's actually 10,600 damage because I'm just good at maths. I'm honestly, I'm, I'm just such a legend. I love myself so much. And I love you as well, especially if you are... Uh, watching this video until the very end so thank you so much for your attention don't forget to like subscribe all the beautiful package and i will see you next time peace